morning, Cardinals fans. I'm Tara Wellman. This is About Last Night, and the Cardinals are on what we like to call a winning streak. Music to my ears. I mean, it kind of had me worried, but it's looking more and more like those first two games were just a matter of really good Mets pitching, and less a matter of the Cardinals not actually being good. But yes, the season is still young, and there is much trust to still be earned. Yesterday was really all about Miles Michaelis, until Paul DeYoung came along. And also Dexter Fowler, inspiring Ofer hitters everywhere to manifest their own destiny on Twitter. Baseball players, am I right? The Cardinals crashed the Miller Park party, winning 8-4 to four over the Brew Crew, and at least for a while, Brewer starter Zach Davies and Cardinal starter Miles Michaelis were locked in a pretty tight battle, each having given up a couple of runs, but for the most part, looking pretty sharp. Both had one, two, three first innings, and through the fifth inning, Michaelis had five strikeouts and had allowed two home runs. But not to worry, Miles Michaelis evidently, like Adam Wainwright, can provide his own offense. I'm not gonna lie, I sort of giggled to myself about Miles Michaelis hitting a two-run bomb 106 miles an hour off the bat off Zach Davies for at least three innings. I mean, baseball is a weird and wonderful game. But Michaelis wasn't the only offensive boost for the Cardinals yesterday. Jid Jerko got the scoring started with an RBI double that put the Cardinals on the board and then left the game injured later, so we'll see what happens there. And then Dexter Fowler, again, fulfilling his own prophecy from Twitter, I will get a hit, I will get a hit, I will, I need to try this in my life, dropped a blooper into center field that scored the go-ahead run. In a big inning that could have been bigger, Tommy Pham was, at least according to every angle we saw, very wrongly called out on a stolen base attempt, even after an absurdly long replay look. I mean, what good is replay if you still get the calls wrong? And of course, immediately following that, Matt Carpenter came up and singled to right. Now later in the inning, one run scored anyway on a Jose Martinez sack fly, but that would have been a really disappointing end to what should have been a game ceiling inning. But never fear, Paul DeYoung is here to smash home runs and to crush the dreams of Major League Pitching. DeYoung now has seven hits with six strikeouts, five RBI, four runs scored, three home runs in four games. I couldn't get to two and one. It's it, The countdown stopped there. It's, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Small sample size, I know, but if we were worried about a sophomore slump for Paul DeYoung, he's doing a pretty good job at silencing those fears early. A lot can happen, but when you get off to this kind of start, it's a pretty good sign. And he's doing all of that while hitting seventh. So there's that. But back to Michaelis for a minute. I have to admit that when the Cardinals announced the deal to bring Michaelis back to Major League Baseball from his time in Japan and to do it in a Cardinals jersey in place of Lance Lynn, who would soon be departing, I wasn't, let's say, thrilled. Probably because I had my heart set, realistically or not, on Chris Archer, who Miles Michaelis is not. But the more I saw from him in the spring, the more excited I got to see him in the regular season. I was pumped for yesterday's start. I know he wasn't perfect, but he kept a pretty good hitting lineup pretty well off balance all day. His breaking ball is a thing of beauty, and his command was easily the best of the Cardinal starters we've seen so far. See, Michaelis doesn't have to be Chris Archer to provide tremendous value for the Cardinals in 2018. I mean, he's not there to be the guy that throws complete game shutouts. He's not there to be the guy that sets strikeout records. He's there to be consistent and to be reliable and to go every five days and to eat up a bunch of innings that are gonna be really important when there's a rotation that still has a number of question marks as you look forward long-term through the rest of the season. And today, at first glance, it really looks like Michaelis is capable of doing just that, and then some. But you know, it's like writing a hit song. It takes time and commitment and creativity and apparently baseball, because what 
goes better with music than baseball. <laughs> no, really. You can write a song about the Cardinals. And if it wins the contest, you can record it. Needless to say, I'm hoping that the Cardinals will make me happy. With the second verse of the same tune they serenaded us with yesterday. I can't even say that with a straight face. I'm trying, guys. Trying to do the music thing. Play baseball. Mike List is good. The Cardinals won. Let's do it again, shall we?